uh, there is a way for you to uh, lose some weight healthily, and that is by taking part in some sport. Well, our youth's doing it. Let's take a look. Cape Town has by far the best recipe of summer sun and wind conditions to make kite surfing one of the most enjoyable sports in South Africa. And surfers from all over the world gather on Cape Town's beaches to let loose. I started kite surfing when I was 11 years old. Yeah, you know, after I like just felt the kite for the first time, like I immediately knew that this was for me. Like when I started kiting, freestyle got my attention immediately. It's definitely the hardest discipline as well. Sometimes it's just nice to go big. Like, boosting as high as you can, like, on the strongest winds, just, just, dude, just jumping, man. At just 18, Oswald has traveled the world and won numerous kite surfing awards in freestyle waves and course racing. I've been, like, SA champ now for three years running, and this year I competed on the World Tour, and I ended up third on the Open World Rankings for slalom, that's a speed discipline. And I'm also, you know, pushing the limits on the freestyle, I'm doing the World Tour Freestyle as well, but it's very, like the competition's tough there. And hopefully next year my goal is to come top 10. Yeah, looks like the wind just picked up. Um, I'm gonna get my stuff ready and then I'll show you how, what it's all about in the water. Kite surfing involves a lot of the right kit. These include different kinds of kite sports and harnesses according to your budget. I'm just gonna show you guys how to like rig it. Right here we have like all your base 60 meters for kiting. So yeah, I got my twin tip. This is my freestyle board. As you can see, it's called a twin tip because of the shape. You know, both ways are exactly the same. And then I got the pump, and then I got the kite. And then you got a bar with your lines. So you attach this to the kite, and this is like your steering mechanism. And then I got a harness. So the thing is this goes around your waist, and then the lines and bar attach to the harness and that's like how the kite attaches to you. Some kites are powerful enough to pull the rider as fast as 90 kilometers an hour and at incredible heights. So safety is key when choosing your kit. Okay, so I just finished pumping my kite. Um, when the wind's strong, you use small kites just to get a bit less wind. And when the wind's you know, light, you obviously take bigger kites. Um, yeah, it's not that bad, the pumping. It's a nice little warm up. So I'm warmed up, let's do this. These lines are about 21 meters. It's actually not that long. Normal sizes are about 25 meters, but you know, for freestyle, it's a bit better with the short lines. We've got the chicken loop here, and this basically attaches the kite to your body. We've got the bar here, and this basically steers the kite. So if you want to do a jump, you get some speed going. You steer the kite up and pull the bar in, and the kite just lofts you. Man. My traveling has been, has been really sick. Like, I love just going all the places. I'm traveling on my own now, so, dude, it's sick, man. Just doing my own thing, meeting great people, and cutting, like, like, the tropics of the world. I'm so happy about that. With millions of kite surfers across the world and growing, both Oswald and the sport are set to reach new heights this year as they push the limits of what is possible in this exciting, extreme sport.